Let's do a little discussion now about working with basic proportions because proportions play such an important role in many of our calculations regarding fertilizers for the lawn and landscape. And with proportions, I don't mean to insult your intelligence, but let's go all the way back to the very basics. And if I presented you a math problem, a problem that was this rigorous and said one half equals x over four, and I know I'm insulting your intelligence, but maybe the steps will help you to uh, remember how it is that you actually did this because you probably think about this say oh what was the terms you remember cross multiply divide and solve for X okay and what we do here when we work with these types of problems because this is nothing more than a proportion is on this side the left side we have 4 times 1 equals 2 times X right and then we divide both sides by whatever the constant is over here where x is. So we're going to divide this side by 2. And we divide this side over here, which is 4, by 2. And the answer, no surprise, turns out to be x equals 2. Okay, so that's a proportion. Now, what we do is we're going to, let me clear this, and we're going to basically take this now and apply this to... Uh, a fertilizer rate and let's say that our fertilizer rate and again we'll make this very simple to start out with is hey somebody has recommended that you want to apply one pound of nitrogen per thousand square feet okay well the next question be is yeah but how big is that lawn that we're going to treat so you've gone out and you have measured that lawn and that lawn turns out to be 8,350 square feet let's say Okay, so how much nitrogen do you need for 8,350 square feet? Now, almost off the top of your head, you should be able to calculate what the answer is, but let's go through the math and say this is what it would precisely be. If I cross multiply, divide, and solve for x, the only thing I have to do in this type of proportion is to ensure that my units remain the same both on the top and the bottom of the proportion. So you see over here, pounds of nitrogen is on the top, once again, pounds of nitrogen on the top, square feet on the bottom, square feet on the bottom. My answer is going to be in units of pounds of nitrogen. That's my unknown. I cross multiply and I get 8350 times 1 is to 1000 times x. Correct? Divide both sides by this constant, 1000. 8350 divided by 1000. The answer is 8.35 pounds of nitrogen equals X. So you need 8.35 pounds of nitrogen to cover 8350 square feet at a level of one pound of nitrogen per thousand square feet.